G'day, I'm Tim Thompson and today I'm having a look at some clips that promise to make clipping wire onto steel posts even easier. I've got some sheet mesh here and I've got some plain wire to try these new clips out on. Now obviously some people like to run their wire through the posts. This video is probably not for you. This is for people that like to use prefabricated clips. Now the industry standard for a long time has been clips like this that come with their own tool and you get about 250 clips in the box which should do you for 50 posts of five plain or barbed wire. Today I'm having a look at a new idea in fencing clips to see how they work. The rapid clip from Southern Wire comes in a cute little packet that would be familiar to people who've used crimps before. I think there's a good indication as to what market they're chasing with the packaging. You only get 50 clips in the packet, so that'll only do you about 10 posts of five plain or barb. So I think we're probably looking at the smaller landholder market that doesn't want to mess around with specialized tools. Let's see how they perform. There's something that really excites me about this product and it's in the packaging. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a tiny QR code. Now this is something that I haven't seen from a lot of manufacturers and it's a really tiny point, but the thing is you should be able to pick a product up these days, click on an image with your phone and immediately be told how to use it. And Southern Wire have attempted this, but there's a few glitches. The first thing is the QR codes probably half a centimeter too small so the phone is either out of focus because you're too close or doesn't pick up on the link that it's supposed to send you to so after a while oh there we go we got it it took that long to get and then after a while it takes you not to the instructions of how to use this product but instead it takes you to the typical Australian flash ad we have Mr. Testicles telling you about how great the company is and unfortunately there's nothing about the clip in the video. Um, this is a mistake that a lot of manufacturers make and I think it really shows how quickly the market has changed and how fast technology is moving with these large companies and exploiting the different options that you have now it's critical you get it right. I'm not just talking to these, but th these guys have done a fantastic job even putting a QR code on their product and they're to be congratulated for it. And it's fantastic. But when you have a QR code on your product, make it large enough to scan easily and make it a really short video that goes straight to the point, says, this is our product, this is how it works, this is where you should use it, done. We've got a 15 second attention span these days. We used to have a 30 second attention span because that's how long TV commercials were. Now TikToks are 15 seconds. That's what our brain's conditioned to. We've really got to get good at putting 15 second videos on QR codes on products. And can I just say, congratulations guys. You put a QR code on your product, that's really good. It's a great first step. Let's keep going with that. Unfortunately though, in this case, I've got to throw the instructions over my shoulder. All right, so for those of you who need a bit of a refresher, this is a standard post clip made by White's Rural, and I'm gonna be attaching it to plain two and a half mil wire on a standard stock post, and I'll show you how it works with the key that is provided in the pack. All right, standard size stock post once again, two and a half mil high tensile Murray wire, and we're going to apply our Southern Wire rapid clip with just our bare hands. Let's see how we go. Now I'm led to believe the trick is you orient the clip like that, slide it up into the wire, and then there should be just enough room to clip it into the post. Bare hands, look at that, amazing. The other good thing about this is that the wire can still move and can still flex through the clip on the post um, without creating a pinch point. So I think that's actually a really good thing. So for plain wire, you saw how fast that was. I tried everything I could to get the wire to flick this clip out of the post and it just wouldn't. Okay, so standard post was actually really impressive. We've got another one. This time I've got a stock post XL 
two and a half mil plain wire let's attach it once again I'm starting like that putting it up onto the wire there should be just enough room to go through the hole this time I'm having a bit more trouble now I think there's a bit of an angle in the dangle it's how you hold your tongue if you don't have this clip straight up and down the right way it might actually jam on the post so it's probably just a case of getting used to it let's just see that took a little bit more work it took a bit of a jiggle and a jangle let's try one more okay so I've come down the fence line I've got another XL post was it the clip was it the post let's find out oriented the correct way slip it onto the wire now this time I've used what I learned from the last one the secret is to have the wire further up in the clip and to have it pointing straight out from the post and then it's a relatively easy job to get it into the post certainly much faster than twitching the clip on my only concern is that with these clips you'll do about 10 posts of five wires as opposed to about 50 out of a large box if these clips come in a large box then that'd be great too okay so these clips have done pretty well to be honest with you once we got over operator error and we're learning how to use these clips so with plain wire look at that as easy as you come certainly faster than twitching let's have a look at netting now my concern with netting is that once you put your first clip in you're not going to be able to move the netting the panel of a fence as much as possibly you need to to get the clip in the right position so let's see if we can janky it and you guys can make your decisions as to whether or not it's just operator error or this passes or fails the test so we'll get it in the right position again put it onto the wire attached number one easy that is faster than any other method even the professionals method of twisting off and cutting would take longer James Higgins might disagree but all right we've got a matching hole here get our clip into the right position put it up against the post I'm sold these work they're good it'll all come down to cost and whether or not you can give up the joy of using the twitching tool all right, so the big test now, does it improve the ability to stick a fence onto the bottom hole? We all know what a joy it is twitching a fence onto the bottom hole using wire. You end up digging around in the dirt. Does this prevent it? Let's assume the position, I think I already have, and stick the clip on the wire. And there we go, it's attached. I, these are pretty good, I reckon. They work with a large post, they work with a standard post, they work with netting, they work with plain wire, they work with top wires, they work with bottom wires and stop you digging around in the ground. It just depends on pricing. Guys, if you like this kind of video, don't forget, hit the subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty more content like this and more on timthompson.ag.